We are going to be going in the way back machine. Your favorite place to go. <laughs> One of my faves. Uh, to the late 19th century in the bustling city of Jersey City, New Jersey. Ever heard of it? <laughs> Love it. Your hometown. My hometown. I did live there for two miserable years. <laughs> so just... <laughs> <laughs> two yep. really long years it felt really longer long. for sure yeah yeah right mm-hmm. yeah yeah it felt like five mm-hmm. honestly was that where you lived when your roommates saw that you guys were having sex in the living room but it was just yeah. zach doing push-ups yes <laughs> <laughs> yep. zach had those push-up discs <laughs> and i was up. asleep in our bedroom and he was doing push-ups in the living room and our roommates thought that we were just having sex at like 7 30 p.m on a weekday in the shared living room <laughs> really not. rhythmically for like really 40 minutes <laughs> My and God. they didn't cook dinner that night or they like scared to come out they of their were room to, yes I'm looking it. funny. And they told us about it months later when he like did it again in the living room and they were like, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Text. Are you guys fucking? I'm hungry. Yeah. yeah seriously. Like it's hard. <laughs> so odd. Like so who, odd. Was, who, who makes that assumption? That was quite a leap. I don't know. Quite a leap. Roommate okay. trauma. Anyway. That's what I think of when I think of Jersey City. Uh, yeah. That specific anecdote. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so George Vosberg, I don't know, Vosberg, Vosberg. Sure. I'll probably say it both ways. Is a charismatic and popular young pastor, a pillar of his community. Oh, but God. behind closed doors, George's home life was tumultuous mm. at his own fucking doing because he's a piece of shit. Okay. <laughs> so George was married to Harriet and their marital life was strained. The couple fought frequently over any number of things, but the most glaring issue in their marriage was George's unhappiness over their being childless. Okay, get over it. <laughs> Which, <laughs> Which like get at this over it. <laughs> Fuck you, George, get over Fuck it. Fuck you, George. <laughs> Which I have in my notes. Like, at this point, you might be thinking, fuck you, dude. That's not a- <laughs> That's not in Harriet's hands. I and might be thinking that. You and might there's be. a 50% chance it's, it's your, your fucking, fucking fault. fault. <laughs> you shit dick. Gross. And while one would never try to assign blame to infertility issues... <laughs> This was not your classic case of infertility. (laughs) Do you know (laughs) us? And while we would never... (laughs) Fuck you, shit dick. It's probably your fault. (laughs) Fuck you, shit dick. (laughs) Oh, I could have a baby. What? (laughs) Oh, my God. Okay, I never thought I would laugh this hard at infertility. Yeah, no obviously shit. we are not. <laughs> we allowed. recognize the struggle. <laughs> but this I'm in guy the in sucks. group. I can make fun of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In fact, Harriet had been pregnant multiple times during their marriage, but she had had at least two abortions undertaken without quote without George's prior knowledge or approval. Good for um, her. Good for her. Either they weren't his and we will get to it or even more likely he was a fucking terrible piece of shit and she didn't want to have kids with him because he was abusive and we will get to it. So also adding fuel to the fire was Harriet's apparent fling with a barman. Mm, A loving Harriet. (laughs) We got it. A a barman. Like a barman. Like a, a man who mends balls. <laughs> like a beer man, like those cats. I'm like allegedly a little high, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. From whom she <laughs> had even accepted a ring of some kind, some jewelry. So that's mm. all I know about him, unfortunately. So yeah, safe to say the Vosbergs are not in a great place in their relationship, but the volatile atmosphere actually seemed to lift in the winter of 1877 to 78 when Harriet suddenly fell gravely ill. Mm. So George tended to his sick wife, 
uh, like on her sick bed. But Harriet's brother, the ironically named James Sickles, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 was suspicious of his suddenly tender and concerned brother-in-law because he knew that George was a piece of shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now you care, mm-hmm. shit dick. Mm-hmm. Shit dick. So he believed that George might be poisoning Harriet, and so Sickles began a secretive operation to gather forensic evidence to back up his claim. This is Get 1877. It, Sickles. So Get he was, it. He was like an early true crime weirdo. Yeah, I love basically. him. Basically, like, like most people didn't even know this shit was possible. Also, a good brother. I like, bet he you're was sus. Hot. I'm going to gather evidence. <laughs> yep. I bet he was really fucking hot. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds hot. Yeah. yeah. James Sickles. <laughs> get it. Uh, get it. He get that thick thick. No. Oh. <laughs> Give me that thick thick. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Give me that sick sick. <laughs> oh. No. Get it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> I'm so booing that out. joke. I'm so grossed <laughs> out. So he's doing this, but it's very secretive. Even his sick sister was unaware of what he was doing, but also she was pretty advocate. She was like barfing all the time. Wait, her name. Oh, wait, never mind. Harriet Sickles. <laughs> her but maiden name, her I'm assuming, mate, was yeah. Sickles. Yeah. I, for a second, I thought her <laughs> maiden name was Sick Sickles. <laughs> we are That'd so unwell rough. today. <laughs> <laughs> that would that, be rough. Yeah, that would be rough. <laughs> Just keep going without me. I'll catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Go take a nap. <laughs> Go to bed. That's how you're just going to feel for at least the for next a while. 16 Year. months, you 18 months. <laughs> just like just like oh. your brain has been taken out of your body <laughs> and just put on a little shelf and you can see it. But you can't, you can't use quite it. reach it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that comes out of my mouth is like one third formed in my yes. brain. Yep. And the rest is just a potpourri of whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's a trip. Okay, so uh, demonstrating a determination that bordered on obsession, Sickles, the brother, began collecting these samples uh, specifically of drinks that George was serving his ailing wife. Smart. He even procured samples of Harriet's urine. Oh. Oh. Okay. Which, like, how you do that without her knowing. I guess he probably just, like, took the bedpan. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Right. All right. So Sigal sent off the samples of the lab, uh, to the lab of Dr. R. Ogden Doremus, uh, professor of <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound great. <laughs> Ogden Doremus. <laughs> What an yeah. ignoramus. Yeah. That's Dr. Doremus to you. That's Dr. Ignoramus <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Uh, ignoramus. <laughs> he was a professor of chemistry at Bellevue Medical College, and his findings were alarming. Mm. Mm. Traces of antimony, a compound typically found in China dishware, mm. not enamel. Not the same thing as teeth and bathtubs. Got it. I checked. Okay. Were discovered in every single sample. So in all the beverages and in the urine. All the urine samples. Is that because all their shit was made out of China? No, it's, you know, (laughs) that's actually, that would be an interesting counter. (laughs) Like, yeah, well, they just... They drank out of teacups and (laughs) her bedpan was China. No, I think it just, they took it to mean that he had poisoned them all. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it could also be used in compound form known as tartar emetic, uh, which is derived from antimony and potassium tartrate, which has the capacity to induce vomiting and is sometimes employed to treat fungal infestations. Tartar sauce. Yeah. Fungal Emet- infestations. I, yeah, I didn't get into the fungal thing, but like, Tartar, like any <laughs> missed <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> Start googling, girlfriend. <laughs> new new SLB episode. <laughs> Actually, real life versions of uh, The Last of Us would be mm-hmm. a great spooky little bitch episode. Ooh, like different kinds of fungal takeovers. Mm-hmm. Oh, fungal. bananas, I, parasitic I fungi, tartar, fungal infestation, ah. tartar infestation. 
Yikes, these images are rough. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, now I have to. Oh, no! I'm not doing it. <laughs> Haven't thrown up on a show yet. <laughs> Is this the day? That was really nasty. Gnarly. Oh, that was okay. Uh, uh, Kenyan speechless. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Move I, on! I, I hate love this. weird skin stuff. I love it. I'm not even googling it myself, <laughs> and I hate it. Okay, ah! okay. <laughs> After hours. Um. Okay. So a medic, I think it refers to like making one throw up, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Okay. Sure. So, uh, but but despite having some legitimate medicinal uses, the presence of antimony in Harriet's system raised alarm bells since the last thing she needed was more vomiting. Mm-hmm. So it's like even even if he was like there'd be no reason to give her tartar emetic. It's like if you had the runs and someone gave you a laxative. Yeah, laxatives, a laxative. yeah. Thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. Hi, brain. I see you. <laughs> um, so in May uh, 1878, Reverend George Vosberg was arrested for attempted murder because once, I think once the brother sent the samples to the lab, they got Harriet kind of away from him for long enough for her to get better. Mm-hmm. And so that's when they were like, okay, we're arresting you for attempted murder. Cool. Uh, so yeah, she had kind of a miraculous recovery. Whoops. Yeah, weird when you're not giving her poison tartar sauce every yeah. fucking day. <laughs> Yum. So the Vosbergs <laughs> were then thrust into a trial that would become a nationwide spectacle in the press. There were so many cartoons of this trial, like old-timey cartoons Amazing. from newspapers, <laughs> and so many mutton chops. So just, like, go to the drive, look Ooh. at my folder of pics. These, these will be on the blog. Oh, my God. Like, Amazing! Look at the men's facial hair. Ew! Brilliant. I don't like it. Yeah, I love it. It's craziness. I mm. love an unruly chop. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, like the triangle side mm. face chop. The curly it comes triangles. out. Ray looks like that after a nap. Mm. Bill would look like that if he mm-hmm. let his beard grow. That be make Bill do that. Okay. Someday. Okay. Done. Okay. <laughs> Twist my arm. Okay. <laughs> So in addition to her brother, James, other members of Harriet's family testified against her husband. Her father recounted witnessing his son-in-law surreptitiously pull an unknown substance from his pocket and pour it into his daughter's tea before giving it to her. Mm -mm. Even more compelling were the accounts of Harriet's sister, Elvira. (gasps) Yes. Love. Harriet and Elvira. Mm -hmm. Sickles. So cool. Elvira Sickles. Okay, brilliant. Of course you're involved in a poisoning case. Not that yeah. you poisoned. But no, she was, yeah, a witness. And the sister-in-law, Jenny, oh, no, I get, whatever, it doesn't matter, <laughs> testified about Harriet's <laughs> deep-seated fear of being left alone with her husband. So, like, the family members are like, he's a piece of shit. He's right. an abusive piece of shit. We know it. She told us. She's scared mm-hmm. of him. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But in a dramatic turn of events and a major blow to the prosecution's case, Harriet herself refused to testify against her husband. Mm. She's abused. Mm -hmm. In fact, she stood by him, literally sat next to him throughout much of the trial and refused to testify. Mm. And of course, a person cannot be compelled to testify against their spouse. They could volunteer to testify against their spouse, but they can't be forced to. And should. And should. So later on, when Harriet was interviewed and asked why she refused to testify, she said simply, quote, I have my reasons, which I do not wish to tell anybody. I shall not testify if I can help it. And like, yeah, she was afraid of him. And yeah, he'd been abusing her. For I years. have my reasons that I don't want to tell anyone. I don't want him to murder me. Yeah. Poor hair. I'm not going to testify. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Still, the prosecution had facts and science. Oh. On their side. <laughs> Two of my favorite things. <laughs> they underscored the damning evidence of poison present in all of the samples of Harriet's beverages. Their key witness was Dr. Ignoramus, who <laughs> didn't just talk about his chemical analysis on the witness stand, but instead opted to demonstrate some of his tests live in the courtroom. Cool. Wow. What a show. Yeah. How? Yeah. I mean, back then, this would have been like if holograms were fucking 
used in the middle of a courtroom if it was just like boom here's a hologram reenactment of the crime oh to my us God. Today. awesome <laughs> like this was wild for mm-hmm. the time but uh, when are we gonna get courtroom holograms right, right? that seems like it's gotta be like we right have. around the corner i don't yeah. know we still have people cartoon sketch artists in the courtroom so no. that's just for, have, that's just for gigs though it's just yeah. for jollies mm-hmm we could have a hologram of Tupac, but we can't get holograms right? in the courtroom. This is bullshit. We I know the sphere thing in Las Vegas with the big truffle thing. Truff. Okay, I will say that that is yes, the the Las Vegas sphere is like a very weird ad thing. But to see stuff come up out of it is like through an app in your phone, like through that's like oh, AI. Oh, it is. I thought yes. it was a big I ass it hologram. Up. No, I looked it up because it looked so crazy. But yeah, that's oh, like oh, that's. that's cool. Cool. A camera. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you wouldn't see that with the naked eye. No, that's stupid. Mm. Yeah. Well, what do we want? Courtroom hologram? Holograms. (laughs) When do we want them? (laughs) Now. Now. Immediately. Now. Yeah. Well, I sure hope you liked that clip. If you did like that clip, make sure you are subscribing to our YouTube channel, leaving us a nice review, and joining us on Patreon for even more video content audio content, salacious content all around. Come join us. Treat yourself.